everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you. All right, let us go ahead, you all, and jump right into the reading. Let us see what the messages are this spirit has here for you on today. Please do keep in mind that these are general messages. Only take what resonates with you in your situation and leave the rest. All right. This is not your reading. Please go and check out another one of the readings here on the channel or another reader in general. All right. The goal is to get you the guidance that you're needing, the clarity, the confirmation, etc. All right. So if not through me, through someone else, through yourself. Okay. It would be great. And if not, another reader for confirmation always works. Right. So let us see, what are the messages? Thank you, Spirit, for our feminines. What does she need to know, right? We have the lovers, all right. Your divine counterpart is thinking. Your divine counterpart is feeling like you're keeping secrets or this is how you feel, okay? They may feel like you're being very secretive or you're staying to yourself. Or this is how you feel. Put yourself on whichever side you go. But someone is wondering why their person is so distant. Why everything is at such a standstill. Okay. The death card and the will of fortune. Someone is ready to transition. Someone is moving forward. Someone is going through some sort of spiritual ascension. And they're ready for union. Okay. So it's like they're looking for you. Now that they're ready, they're looking for you. Okay. So let us see. What are the messages for feminine? Okay, we have the high priestess. So you intuitively know that someone is pulling on your energy, all right? This could be someone from your past, but we have divine counterpart energy here. We have soulmate, divine counterpart energy. So even if this is someone from your past, this is how they're showing up as your twin flame, okay? So you intuitively know this person is pulling on you, tower, okay? This is going to come as a complete shock to some of you because maybe you thought that you would never hear from them again or you would never see them again or something but you're confused you're like where'd this come from all of a sudden okay why do you want me all of a sudden okay what happened to whatever whatever all right but this person has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening so it's not wise to hold on to the past or to even treat them in a way you know where it's like you're <sighs> because of whatever happened in the past let me go ahead and treat you this way. No, because two of pentacles is balance, okay? Two of pentacles is weighing the pros and cons of a situation. So your twin is returning. Spirit would like for you to weigh the pros and cons of dealing with this person. This could be where you are right now. They've returned. Complete shock to you. They've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. Or that's what's happening with them right now. Star card, you know, you feel divinely protected at this time as always okay you're always divinely guided and you're looking for confirmation as to what to do you've been blocking this person out five of pentacles and queen of swords moving forward that's the energy that a lot of the feminines have been in right now so i'm really not surprised that it's going in that direction right now okay let us see here we got the four of pentacles and the queen of pentacles so mind you we keep seeing the queen and the king of pentacles this person wants to hold on to you because they feel like you two are a vibrational match okay they feel like you balance each other out or you add some sort of balance to each other's lives or something like that you got the eight of pentacles here okay and i saw the five of swords person wants to work on this connection they don't want to lose you okay seven of cups this person may be uh, daydreaming about you a lot, okay? Yeah, thinking of you a lot. Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Can't stop thinking about you, actually. Okay, we have the Star card. They continue to feel guided back to you. They continue to feel like this is where they're supposed to be. Judgment and the Star. Okay. We have the King of Cups, yeah. This is their discernment on a the situation. They feel like they love you. You're their heart's desires. They can't get that out of their mind. You know, they can't get past that. This person walking away from me is absolutely not what I want. I'm in love with them. You know, I keep dreaming about them. I keep thinking about them. I keep fantasizing about them. 
So the king and queen of pentacles, not a king and queen of cups. You two are a vibrational match. So you're going to be getting a message from this person, okay? And this may come as a shock to you because, you know, you may have been wanting things to work out with your person, but you weren't thinking they would. Well, here it is. It's working out in your favor, Will of Fortune. All right, yes, yeah, Will of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. This is beautiful energy with this lover's card. Okay, you're getting everything that you want and then some. So just because it didn't work out a certain way doesn't mean anything. We have the Empress here. Your love is what they're most attracted to. Okay, your spirit, your loving energy, your nurturing energy. Okay, you're a very kind person, gentle person, very sincere. And with the Three of Cups, they want to reunite. Eight of Wands is them coming in and communicating this, expressing this to you. Okay, a lot of back and forth communication with that Page of Wands and Eight of Wands. And the Knight of Pentacles, okay? I feel like this person has a plan. They've been planning something. Eight of Cups, okay? They can sense that you're wanting to pull back or you're wanting to withdraw or something like that, okay? Let us see. Let us see. Feminine. <clears throat> Your intuition. It's telling you that this is your person. You can trust it. The challenge is, Knight of Pentacles, how slow they've been moving. But slow is steady in this case. This person wants to do right by you. I saw the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, they have good intentions. They want to do right by you. Okay. Six of Wands, yes. They want to let you know that it's come to their awareness how they truly feel, you know. They've always known they loved you. They always known they liked you, you know, whichever one it was, but never this deep, never to this extent, you know. And with the two of swords, spirit is asking for you to lead by faith here in this situation. Okay, King of Wands. What is this person doing? In the event they start displaying more action on a consistent basis, that's something you can trust. So with the Knight of Cups in the Tower, I feel like this is how they're going to shock you. This is how they're going to surprise you. By being romantic, by doing those sweet things, you know, trying to get your attention, wanting to express how it is they feel about you, let you know what it is they think about you, when they're thinking about you. You know, this person, they think of you, they think this is my, you know, my long-term partner, okay? This is the person I want to be with. All right, this is the one I feel like I don't like distance being in between me and them. I want to be as close to them as possible. Okay, five of cups. Again, some sort of remorse or regret over having let you down or disappointed you or something like that. Two of pentacles, again, weighing the pros and cons of something. Ten of swords. You know, I could let this person walk away and let this end, but I wouldn't be able to live with that. All right, page of wands. That's what I'm getting. Somebody wouldn't be able to live with that. Okay, so five of wands and the ace of swords. It could have been an argument or a disagreement or something like that. That is who of you had. Okay. Seven of pentacles. About how this person often leaves you waiting. You always feel like you're waiting. All right. Perhaps this new beginning or, you know, fresh start was supposed to happen for a while now. But see, slow and steady is what's going to get you where you want to be. Okay, but then we have the magician, which is Mercury, the complete opposite of slow and steady. So it's like, no, you want something now. You know, seven of cups. This person keeps wanting to bring things to you, this offer with this four cups, but it's not been enough. It hasn't been enough. Knights are on mission, so perhaps the thing is they're in and out. You know, here one minute making a romantic gesture or a romantic offer and then going about their business the next. Okay, and you're like, uh, that's not really something I can depend on, you know. So let us see. The magician, the high priestess, they're aiming to pull on your energy. King of cups, queen of cups, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. You guys are a match. Four of pentacles, this is why they want to hold on to you. They refuse to let you go. Nine of wands, this person is tired of being without you. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, okay? They feel like Page of Cups, reconciliation, apology is necessary. You know, apology is definitely in order. <laughs> Apologies are in order. They want to apologize, take action. You know, this person, they are often worried, okay? 
what will you think of what I do? Is it going to be enough for you? Nine of Pentacles, because you're very independent, you have it going on, you can do a lot for yourself. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so if what I come to you and do isn't enough, then what? But I don't think you're thinking like that. I think you're more so, you know, going to be overjoyed with the fact that, you know, it's coming from your divine counterpart. You're getting what you want from and with your divine counterpart, 10, 10 on the timestamp. So I think that's more so what you're going to be focused on as opposed to, you know, what it is that they're doing. The hang one. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. They just, they want to come make this offer to you. They don't know if what they have to offer is good enough or is it enough for you. Okay, that's where they're at with it. Is what I have to offer enough for you? This person wants to have child or children with you. Okay. We have courting. All right, dates, shooting the breeze, getting to know each other and fun. Three of Cups energy. They want to court you. They want to date you. They want to get to know you better. Okay. We have, when you allow yourself to be fully open to me, it lets me know you trust me, okay? That's the king and queen of cups. I was just about to say, <laughs> queen of cups, deep feelings, dreams, empathy, and hidden knowledge. You're very open with this person. It lets them know that you trust them. And perhaps when you're distant, you know, that's how they know, like, okay, something's not right, wait, because this person is always open with me, you know? Like, what's going on? So, we have foresight, travel, freedom, moving, and results, okay? Yeah, person definitely wants to see something happen here. You are so beautiful, beauty queen, okay? They're drawn to you, attracted to you in multiple ways, okay? You stand out. All right, we have the absolute best I ever had. Oh. <laughs> Okay, the absolute best I ever had, I've ever had, honey. We have family, home, acceptance, belonging, and love. All right. Let us see. Sacrifice. All right, so we have sacrifice, okay, perspective, restriction, confinement, and lack of direction. All right, so someone could feel like, or this is you, you know, you've had to sacrifice yourself or be confined due to this person not seeing where it is that you were coming from or like you were restricted and you're like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, we got flexibility. All right, that's the two of pentacles. Wanting you to readjust or adapt to what it is instead of moving forward in the direction that spirit continues to guide them, you know? So that's the direction they're going in now, right? They feel like they should because they're pulling on your energy. They're like under the influence of your love, okay? They're wanting you so much. They're like, okay. Whatever happened here, I need to fix it. <laughs> Whatever happened, I need to fix it, honey. I want to come home. That's why I keep seeing with them home cards, all right? It says, take your time, Nine of Pentacles. Get all the details before making a decision. All right, this person wants to offer you commitment, okay? It says, building, teamwork, dedication, and devotion. We have prosperity here, okay? It says abundance, stability, opportunities, and business. So, yeah, you're meant to be with this person and be successful to top that off. All right. So, with that king of wands, they come towards you, take this action. They feel guilty. All right. And then we have evil eye. It says mourning, negative emotions, trauma, despair. Okay. They could have gone through a lot in life. All right. So, the fact that they're outgrowing certain things, they feel guilty. All right. But they're divinely protected through this transition. Okay. Yeah, they're going through some soul-searching moments right now, okay? Being enlightened, reflection. It says contemplation, soul-searching, solitude, and enlightenment, okay? Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. This is here for our feminists. All right, we have sanctuary, okay? Peace, relaxation, quiet, and meditation. Yeah, because there was a Four of Cups energy here, all right, where this person just, they felt like they kept making offers, 
you weren't necessarily interested. They were concerned. They felt they felt like you were weary. You know, you were tired of the situation. You were over it because you felt like this person is very self-absorbed. They only think about them. And, you know, that's because they weren't taking action. But it says, unblock me. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically, so we can speak. I have a lot to say. All right, they want to talk to you. Okay, some of you feel like that would be great. Others of you, you know where you stand. All right, but it says, I'm single. I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. All right, so that could be the thing, you know. Maybe some of you wanted to rush into it. They want that, just not at the moment. They want to be single. They want to heal, okay. They're a little lost. It says, I feel lost without you, okay. So, like I said, soul searching, you know. They're finding themselves or refinding themselves, going through a spiritual awakening. We mentioned that earlier, okay. We have something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. Okay. Person has some things they want to share with you. That's the Eight of Wands. You're mysterious. I said that earlier. Okay. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. Okay. And this is because... You are willing to withdraw your energy or pull back in the event that you're confused or you're uncertain. You don't like that. It says, I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's just easier to just stay in silence, okay? So some of you could feel like that because this person has been projecting their energy onto you. You know, them feeling lost. So you're like, okay, well, now I'm confused. But what's really going on is they just need time. All right, we have mother wounds, okay? My mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. All right, so it's not even you, beloved, okay? It's the fact that they have to learn how to connect with that divine feminine energy within themselves. All right, we have it's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you, okay? This person feels like no matter who you're talking to, who you're dealing with, they're better than that, okay? I'm going to contact you soon. You can expect to hear from this person sooner than later, all right? And we have your mind. I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want the world to know your mind, all right? Underlying the energy is tears, all right? When I think about you, I cry. This person has shed tears over this situation, you know, out of frustration, not really knowing what to do, all right? Yeah, feeling so drawn to you. You're so attractive, all right? We have Divine Masculine and we have Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person feels like you're very attractive, all right? Catch out the bag. <laughs> All right, karmic lesson has been learned. This person feels like they have learned their karmic lesson, okay? They don't need to keep going through it. They got it. They understand, okay? Empower, assertive, protective, ascension, okay? They feel like they're very loyal, magnetic, competitive, attractive, all right? With you, I feel my best. Blessings. You saw it, but ignored it. Okay, so they could have saw what this connection was, but ignored it, and that's what ticks you off about it, or something like that, you know, because they feel like with you, they feel their best, so if they know that, why would they have ignored it, you know? Different country, okay, they could be at a space from you, or distance from you, at a space, what? Insecure, okay? Sometimes they feel a little insecure, or you do, yourself, whichever side. Really feel like it's them, though. Wanting your touch, okay? Next day, tomorrow, all right? So something is significant about tomorrow. You may be hearing from this person tomorrow, okay? Several streams of income. You keep showing up as, like I said, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This time will be different, all right? So now they're wondering, they're like, damn, is what I have enough for you? Because you're very stable, you're very secure, you know? Karmic lesson has been learned, 555, five, five, all right? So they learned their lesson already. Long distance, okay? This person could be at a distance from you. Partner in crime, this is your partner in crime. They love you, you love them. Money concerns, yeah, see, they might be having some things going on. Muscles, they have a nice physique, well-dressed, all right? Yeah, karmic 
Mm -hmm. Karmic cycle ending. Family, friends, job, work, mindset. Okay. Full of energy. This person loves you for your energy. They're often full of energy. All right. But this is definitely your divine masculine. They want to come in and give you love, show you affection, pour back into you. Okay. We have, are you willing to relocate from me? My family is everything to me and so are you. Okay. You're a breath of fresh air. This love brings me back to life. All right. Let's see. You and I will be together again soon. Do you believe me? All right. Yeah, this person is determined, feminine. Okay. This masculine is very determined. Okay. We have, I never meant to make you cry. I love you. Hurting you is hurting myself. We have been together many, many lifetimes. No matter what, I will always find my way back home. Are you willing to take the risk for me? Are you sure? See, they're insecure. In order for this to work, we have to be honest with one another, okay? My karmic cycle has taught me a lot about myself. Once I complete my lesson, I am coming home, okay? See, a lot of synchronicity throughout your reading. I really pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.